Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Wilhelm Screaming. Welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 for some more Destiny 2 news and life fall season of the Wish Intel. It's also moments of triumph this week, so a great time to be farming Destiny all around because the Nightfall Strike is once again the Lake of Shadows. And if you didn't have a chance to farm this the last time it was available, not only is it a very easy strike to complete, as it has been around for quite some time, it is once again rewarding the Undercurrent Grenade Launcher. This is the new Grenade Launcher which can compete with Forbearance if you haven't had a chance to craft it. If you can complete this strike at the GM difficulty, you will earn yourself an adept version of the Undercurrent. Of course, if you get a Platinum score, it guarantees it. If you're trying this as a solo player on lower level difficulties, or if you're going for a GM solo, I have all types of glitches, tricks, cheeses to share with you. The first one being for the first boss area, Simply make your way over to the right side till you see this fence, and then just hop over it. Don't go too far into the water as there is a turnback barrier, or too far to the right where the rocks are as there is a death zone there. But so long as you or your fire team stay in this general vicinity, you will have the benefit of a couple of things. One, no ads. Two, the boss does not actually hit you in this spot. Even the balls that track to you will get stuck on the fence as you see and the only thing you really have to worry about in this area is the couple of wizards that will spawn close to the edge of this fence they can hit you but are fairly easy to dismiss if you know they're going to be coming this is probably the easiest cheese to do for this particular boss and i recommend everybody using it regardless if you're doing this as a solo player or in a group at gm or as a solo player at the GM difficulty. In the Tormentor room, the thing that you have to really make sure that you take care of are the Blighted Eyes, and then just Super the Tormentor. Not terribly difficult to take down this boss, but the Blighted Eyes are actually the thing that I think will give most solo players the biggest issue, so just make sure that before you actually attack the Tormentor, if you are a solo player, make sure to take out the Blighted Eyes, or if you're in a group at GM, have at least one character focusing on them solely. The next major glitch is for the bridge section or just after the bridge section. This will allow you to skip past the remainder of the strike and right into the boss room. Now, this particular glitch did change a little bit since the time this clip was recorded. The only difference being is now you have to stay more to the left, generally against where the dam is or against the wall before you make this jump. Make sure that you get up to the top before that turnback barrier runs out. Otherwise, you'll be in a fairly tricky spot for a revive. But you can bypass the remainder of the strike and get right to the boss. Also keep in mind, though, that this might prevent you from getting a platinum score. As if any champion spawns in, it will prevent the platinum score from being acquired. However, if you do this before or... If you bypass a particular section before a champion spawns in, it shouldn't have any effect. So I have had people still be able to get a platinum score by doing this glitch, even though it occasionally can prevent you from getting that. Not a huge problem at GM difficulty, though, because you're still given a RNG chance to get the adept version of the grenade launcher, but I would recommend making sure that if you are going to attempt that particular skip, just keep that in mind and make sure that your teammates know about it. For the boss room, it is the best boss room glitch by far. All you have to do is make your way up the path that you see me using here and then jump onto the roof. There is a turnback barrier on the roof, but you can run past it fairly quick. Make your way over to this ledge and you're in the safe space to take out the boss. You might have noticed as I was running across the roof, there actually is an invisible barrier that kind of surrounds this whole room, but you are generally just in front of it. So if you go too far back, you can actually get hooked out of bounds and it will push you back a little bit further. As you can see here, there's sort of a gray mist that has a line directly underneath where the roof sort of goes around. But so long as you don't jump behind that, you're in a 100% safe space and you can actually circumnavigate a majority of the boss arena. I wouldn't go too far to the left or the right, but 
where you are, where you finally land in that safe space, you have some room to move. So you don't have to stack up on top of each other if you are doing this in a group. If you're a solo player, this is probably the best method, though maybe not the fastest method to get a completion on this particular strike or if you're doing it at a GM difficulty, but a 100% guaranteed method not to wipe the group and to get the completion. And that is going to be it for all the information in today's video. Hopefully you found something in this video helpful. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on the bell to post notifications so you never miss out on any future Destiny 2 Lightfall content like this. You can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They'll be linked in the description box down below. Remember any of those things also enter you into any future giveaways on this YouTube channel, and I do want every 1,000 subscribers, so you never want to miss out. When we reach 100,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel, we'll be giving away an Xbox Series X or a video card of equivalent value, so you never want to miss out. If you've watched till this point in the video, you can leave a hashtag Lake of Shadows or a hashtag Season of the Wish or a hashtag Lightfall or a hashtag Moments of Triumph in the comments section down below for another entry into the next giveaway for this video. Remember, I do those secret hashtags on all videos. So if you haven't done this on a previous piece of content on this channel, you can always go back, check out another video, and of course, do it again. As far as builds go for this particular strike, as you can see, I was using Malfeasance and Strand. Strand is really good at the moment. So even though I'm sure most groups are going to ask if you are playing on a Warlock to run Well of Radiance, I would actually maybe suggest a Strand build over Well of Radiance, and I would very rarely do that. But for this strike, I think things will actually go quite a bit faster if you have that variation. I'm going to let all these glitches just sort of play out again so you can observe them without me talking or distracting you if that's to your liking. And I know that there's some people who just like to watch the video without some prompts. Thanks so much for watching once more. And as of course, as always, I'm Wilhelm Scream. We will see you next time. Good farming, everybody.